Welcome back guys this is Gamer for Life back with another video and in, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to do an auto landing yes you heard it right auto landing in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator so let's choose our aircraft so it's gonna be you guessed it right fly by wire simulation because this aircraft has all the features equipped with eyeless landing auto landing and you name it you know and it it's in constant development so this is a great aircraft uh, if you want to fly an MSFS, so let's choose fly by wire. It's named as Leap inside MSFS. And now let's zoom out and choose our airport. So you can think of your favorite airport. And uh, um, I'm, I'm just thinking about Dubai International Airport. So it's OMDB. So let's type it in. In fact, um, we don't need to type it in from. We need to type it in the arrival airport. Yes, that's where we want to be. We want to be in a position to land. So let's type in OMDB. It's uh, airport core for Dubai International and we are in the vicinity of Dubai and we are lined up with one of the runways of the airport it's 30 right so let's click on fly and let's click on ready to fly and first thing we need to do is click on active pause so toggle active pause so that you are stress free you know you don't worry about where your plane is going how is it gonna do while you're doing the setup for uh, an auto landing uh, in fiber wire so you see the speed is increasing and the reason for that is autopilot is turned off and auto thrust is turned off so once you turn on the auto thrust you see the plane is declining so because we are in a landing position and flaps are extended so we are hearing an alarm for over speed so the speed is going down and we need to be sure that we are in climb mode the thrust levers are in climb mode so once you you know move these thrust levers anywhere the autopilot gets disengaged so they be, be just be uh, aware of the fact so now our auto thrust is set to climb mode and we have turned on the uh, the thrust lever is set to climb mode we have turned on the autopilot and our speeds gonna be in uh, uh, absolute control so let's take a look at the map right now we are lined up with one of the runways so let's zoom into the dubai airport on the map and see what runway is it so you see we have this is 30 left so the one on the right is 30 right so we are lined up with that so we want to do an auto landing on 30 right so let's uh enter this information into mig2 so uh, you see we our arrival airport is already set up to OMDB because we chose it in the MSFS So let's click on flight plan click on OMDB and click on arrivals and then choose your desired runway So it's gonna be 30 right in our case and it has to be ILS 30 right if you want to do auto landing and then Don't worry about anything else about star or transition. Just click on insert and There we go. We have some waypoints inserted and we are now program to do an ILS landing on the airport so we were already lined up with the runway so they won't see much of a change but we are now perfectly uh, programmed to do an auto landing so let's set the heading mode to managed as well as the speed mode to manage so that autopilot can control it without our intervention let's turn on the landing system uh, information and you see our localizer and glide flow both are aligned both are in the center line and we have the runway frequency captured and let's turn on the approach button and uh, in order to do a landing we need to prepare for it so let's set the auto brakes to medium uh, no need to go for max and let's arm the speed brakes so I think that's pretty much it we are ready to do a landing an ILS landing and pretty much auto landing so let's now toggle active pause off and let's fly so the plane is starting to line up with the runway throttle is being managed pretty well flaps are fully extended so let's change the time of the day I want to do a sun sunset type of landing you know orangish sky no sun but not fully dark so yeah I think that looks the orange horizon line looks beautiful with a mild city lights and runway lights blinking and we are descending on our glide slope so that's well taken care of both the localizer and glide slope have been captured we are 2500 
feet above the runway and we are going down smoothly with a decent descent grade and all that is left to do is now to wait to get closer to the runway seems like a pretty smooth flight not much of a turbulence calm day in Dubai So you see we are approximately 1500 feet, we are going to be 1500 feet above the runway in a few moments. External view is equally beautiful as is the cockpit view. So we are, we are getting closer to the runway and about thousand feet above the ground. Let's turn on the landing system information on the our second display and we are well lined up with the runway. So we are pretty close to the airport now. Let's turn on autopilot 2. So both the autopilot 1, autopilot, not pilot, autopilot 1 and autopilot 2 are engaged, which will enable us to do an auto landing. So the text that is glide slope and localizer as we get closer to the runway should switch to the land so essentially indicating that we are going to do an auto landing without human intervention that's it so that's all you need to do to do an auto landing you know you need to engage both autopilot 1 and autopilot 2 not that different from an ILS landing it essentially is an ILS landing. So you see land has appeared. So we are going to do an ILS uh, and an auto landing. Plane is still trying to line up with the runway and descending at a decent rate without any human intervention. I'm not doing anything. It's just going down on its own. So the land should switch to flare now as the aircraft gets closer to the runway, it will start flaring. So you see the flare has appeared. So nose up, touch down. We won't be retarding unless we touch down. So now it's time to retard. When you do an uh, auto landing, you just retard the moment plane touches the runway. So we have the reverse thrust, you need to bring it to the zero. So I, I haven't switched off anything. I'm not applying any auto brakes. The plane is stopping itself. It's mildly off off the missile line, but that's fine. So guys, that's uh, how you do an ILS auto landing. So I just switched off the air, aircraft now. Uh, I'll switch off the autopilot now. So that's how you do an ILS landing. Let me know if you like the video and uh, just give it a, give it a thumbs up.